So right now they're insulating a float column that's going to go on these tanks over here. They're going to go to a dairy plant in uh, north central Wisconsin. Oh wow, so it's going to tie into those vessels over there? Yep. And what exactly does a float column do? So this measures the ammonia in these systems. So with the sight glasses, you can see that'll tell them where the levels are at, if they're safe or too high, too low. And that's a good example of what's running through all these pipes. I mean, it could be really cold, it could be really hot, it could be a, a liquid, it could be a vapor. I mean, you don't know, a gas going through exactly. it, right? Exactly. And like I said, these are extremely cold, so this could run at negative 40 Fahrenheit. So that we got to make sure that it's insulated very well, our vapor barriers are sealed tight and keep moisture out of the system. You know, earlier back at the training center, I was talking to Jeremy and he said, you know, if we didn't have experienced professionals putting the proper insulation on, it could lead to corrosion. Is that what they're doing here? This is going to prevent it? Right. So what it prevents is this purple grease you see, yep. uh, the RG2400, that is actually a corrosion inhibitor. So that'll oh. keep the pipe from corroding underneath the insulation. So if moisture or something does get into the system, it's not going to corrode the pipe. Also good for energy efficiency as well? Absolutely. I mean, without the insulation, you're going to spend so much more in energy and fuel costs. Uh, insulation pays for itself.